If you clicked on this video, that means you're looking for some information, information about how to start the carnivore diet. And I'm Tony H. Anderson, your carnivore enthusiast, and I'm going to show you how. Number one, I urge people to look into a clean keto type meal plan um, because the keto meal plan is just a little bit more forgiving in terms of it allows you to have a little bit of carbohydrates. It does allow you to have some greens, also some lean meats and uh, high in fat, just like the carnivore diet. So with the carnivore diet, it calls for beef, butter, and eggs. It is an elimination diet. Uh, the carnivore diet is an elimination diet whereby it is cutting out all types of ingredients such as sugar, any type of carbohydrates, almond flour, wheat flour, um, all the flours in terms of uh, bread and gluten, all those things will be cut out in your diet. And a lot of times people have recorded uh, and lamented in their journal that um, starting off on the carnivore diet right away is a lot more daunting than they would have liked it to be. I would ask that you start off with the ketogenic diet, get your carbs low enough to go get into ketosis, uh, whereby your body is not holding a lot of water and carbohydrates. That means keeping your carbohydrates anywhere from zero to about 20 grams of true carbs, not these net carbs. You need to go and go ahead and start with the ketogenic diet. Also, uh, I would like to uh, suggest in my tip is that you get into the rhythm of reading labels and going to dinner parties, barbecue parties, where you actually have to be very, very intentional about getting the right foods for you. Um, if you're going to a barbecue uh, party uh, this summer now, if you're going to uh, like a restaurant and things of that nature, you need to ask what's in it uh, because we don't really dive into the seed oils or the processed oils such as vegetable oils and canola oils of, of that nature, uh, you want to make sure that they're cooking your meat and your eggs and butter. Um, also, on the flip side of that, just making sure you're reading the ingredients when you're at the store, when you're buying snacks, because a lot of times they hide sugars. Now that you've decided to go keto into carnivore, uh, or if you decided like me to go straight into carnivore, I would like for you to throw away all carbohydrates, all bad products and foods that are currently in your house that may cause you to stumble and fall. What that includes is all breads. I don't care if it's Ezekiel bread, if it has whole wheat and the label said that the bread was made by the hand of Jesus, you do not want the bread in your life. If you have addiction, excuse me, uh, to bread, these are the things that you probably want to get out of your life very quickly. If you're starting a ketogenic diet, they have other uh, ways for you to make a low carb bread. But I would suggest that you throw away your bread or donate the bread, if you will, all together. Also, protein bars and protein shakes. A lot of that stuff has hidden sugars in it as well. Um, a lot of times you want to get milk products or dairy products that are uh, not uh, riddled with lactose sugar. You want um, like a whole milk with a lot of fat, something like heavy cream. That is why ketogenic people and carnivarians, we eat heavy cream simply because it has fat and no sugar and it's very good for you, um, to, to say the least, okay? So you want to do those things. Protein bars that have hidden sugars, they're just a glorified candy bar, in my opinion. Um, if it works for you, it works for you. But on the carnivore diet, if you want to start that, I suggest that you get rid of those things as well. So just clean out your closet. You know, sorry, mama, I didn't mean to hurt you. Didn't need to make you cry, mean to make you cry. But tonight we're cleaning out our pantry and we're going to get rid of all those things that will make us trip and fall while we're trying to improve our health. So number three, I like for you to 
start with the simple basics, which is beef, butter, and eggs. And maybe add some shrimp or some tuna or some uh, sardines or salmon. These are very, very nutrient-dense meats. The reason why I want you to start simple uh, is simply because uh, beef, butter, and eggs, they do have the nutrients that you need so that you can have a more nutritious and balanced diet. And that's what a balanced diet really means, is that you're getting the, enough nutrients to sustain your life, okay? Uh, when you, uh, Beef also has more than five plus nutrients. Um, beef uh, has uh, B, vitamin uh, B12, B6, zinc, potassium, magnesium, you name it. It's um, um, riboflavin, all these things that will not only uh, increase circulatory uh, responses in your body, but also correct your mood and deal with depression and anxiety. That's why a lot of carnivores or carnivarians, they record when they go on to the ketogenic um, uh, carnivarian lifestyle that they no longer have anxiety or depression. Number four, guys, the number four tip is this. I want you to get into a community. No, this is not a cult, but this is a huge following in terms of the ketogenic and carnivarian, even paleo uh, lifestyle. But immediately when I decided that I wanted to be a carnivore, I went on to Twitter, I went on to Instagram, and I immediately op uh, um, invited in uh, to this wonderful following. They took me in with open arms and they have a wealth of knowledge to share with you and also information to keep you motivated, to keep you going. Uh, one thing uh, it is really hard to do is to be able to have a lifestyle such as the carnivore or ketogenic lifestyle and then have nobody to support you. Okay. And so when people don't understand why you're Getting away, get, giving away the sugars and the carbs and just eating only meat, people can become incredulous. But uh, folks on Instagram, for example, uh, they have pictures of their food. They can give you more ideas. They can kind of encourage you and kind of tell you, hey, exactly, I went through the same thing that you went through. Just like I'm telling you, I went through the same thing that you're getting ready to go through. And I don't know where you are in your stage of the carnivore journey, but I just want to encourage you and say, stay, stick with it and stay in there. Um, so far, I am moving the scales. I am looking better. I am feeling better. And um, the ketogenic carnivarian diet, it truly, truly works, okay? Um, also, if you're looking at my meathead shirt here, it's because I went to the Rare Flair store, uh, again, in the community, on Instagram. Rare Flair was one of the guys who uh, embraced me. He opened up his arms and said, hey, this is uh, as, a, as a buddy of mine, please follow him. And uh, likewise, I just loved his products. Uh, this shirt here, wonderful cotton. Um, I asked for a V-neck. He was able to put a V-neck in there for me. I like V-necks. This meathead shirt. I remember when I first uh, brought this shirt, it, it was a little more snug than what I would like to, like to have it, but now it fits pretty good before I brought what's called a, um, a 2XL or a 3XL and um, it fit pretty perfectly. And he noticed that I had ordered an XL. And so now this is an XL and it fits me just fine. So uh, there you have it. Go to the Rare Flair store and support uh, this bit, a small business. I'm telling you, it is made for carnivores by carnivores. That's their main model. And right now he's sending me an apron. But having said that, that is just a prime example of how the community can help you. I'm proud to wear this shirt when I go and work out in it, when I walk about um, doing my daily business. I'm telling you right now, people look at this shirt and they're asking questions and that's how I'm able to spread the message. Okay, if you like this video, I'll ask that you subscribe, like, and share. You stayed all the way to the end, thank you for that. Watch more on my channel, like, share, and subscribe again. It really helps out, and I appreciate you, and God bless.